Hi everyone, Corey here from Tales from Polk County Girl. I just realized that I hadn't shot the video for one of my blog posts going up this week. So this is going to be a real quick video to go along with that. Uh, I decided to kind of start my own tag because I haven't seen one like this going around. Um, in addition to blogging and writing and reading, I'm also a knitter. So th these are six questions that I decided to ask myself as kind of like a knitting tag. Um, so I'm just going to get started. First question, what is um, my favorite knitting needle size? And I prefer to use US size 10 or 11 knitting needles. And I do prefer bamboo to metal. I just don't have 11s in bamboo yet because I'm waiting for to wear these out. Um, question number two, uh, what is your preferred yarn? I prefer working with um, cotton, and the brands of cotton I like to use are uh, peaches and cream. That, that says sugar and cream, and the glare is horrible. Sugar and cream, and Bernat. Uh, those are the three brands of cotton I like to use. I also like to use uh, chenille. Uh, it's very soft. It came from the quarter stitch in New Orleans, and I recommend that store. It's a lovely little yarn store. And crap, I didn't grab it. But it's Burnat Baby and Burnat Blanket. Um, this brand, but it's a thicker yarn, about that big. And it knits up really nicely into blankets and throws, and I just love working with it. Question number three, uh, least favorite yarns to work with. I do not like Lion Brand Homespun. Hate it, despise it. If anybody gives it to me, I either give it to somebody else or throw it away. I, I hate it because it breaks. I knitted a, uh, a baby blanket for my sister-in-law, and I just had the most horrible time with it because... It kept breaking and I was driving myself crazy or while I was knitting it, I, I was, it was going fine and all of a sudden there'd be a frayed piece and it would just come apart and I'd have to unknit and fix it and yeah, I hate it. Uh, I also don't care for uh, mohair and um, I just don't like the way mohair feels and in any rough yarn in particular, if it feels kind of scratchy, like I don't really care for real wool, full on wool yarn either because it's scratchy to me. Oh, and I keep looking down here because my questions and my answers are down here. Uh, question number four What are some knitting resources that you use? YouTube, of course, because um, one of my works in pro progress, which is uh, question number five, I could not have figured out how to do this without YouTube because um, nothing against the pattern maker I just could not understand her directions but um, I have about a dozen knitting books be they pattern books stitch books the knitters dictionary but the one I always go back to when it's something ridiculously simple and I just can't remember how to do it is this book my mom bought me this when I was 10 and when I, I first started and first learned to knit. So, um, yeah, this book has been a, a godsend to me. Question number five, what are your works in process? Um, I'm doing the Frankie Brown 10 stitch blanket. Um, if you are a member of Ravelry, you can look up this pattern. Um, I'm doing the rectangular one. It, it's too awkward to show on camera, but the blog post will have a picture of it. And it, I'm still working on it, so it's not complete. And uh, Frankie Brown has a rectangle one, a circular one, or it looks like a squirrel. And she has a zigzag one. Uh, I'm currently just doing the rectangle one. Um, maybe after this, I'll try the, the other two. Um, 
I started making baby blankets for craft show inventory, and that's what I'm using Burnout Baby and Burnout Blanket yarn for. Um, my bl baby blankets come out 25 inches square, um, and they're really nice. I've had three custom orders for them so far. Sorry, I keep moving guys. I'm kind of losing my balance. And I also, you know, because I love cotton yarn so much, I make dish claws and I've been doing craft shows for this will be my sixth year doing craft shows and my main product has always been cotton dish claws. And the last couple of years I have just sold out and I'm not and I don't just take like thirty dish claws. I take like a hundred to craft to a craft show and usually sell out. So yay. That's um and those uh, the dish claws are a continuous thing if I'm not working on a custom order or baby blanket, which if you watch my goals video, that is usually one of my goals is to get a baby blanket done. My knitting project after the baby blanket is with the dish claws. So I have an inventory make order. Any recently finished products? Again, there will be pictures of these on the blog post, which Hopefully, I remember to link down below once it goes live. I'm, I'm, I'm getting really bad at that. I need to go back and put the blog links in. Um, I had a friend that bought some cotton yarn that wasn't any of the three brands from before for me. And the three brands I use, the cotton is American cotton. That has always been my thing. Nothing against cotton from Turkey or Italy or any other place um, we get cotton yarn from. I prefer to just use American cotton in my product, and, but that's me. Um, and the cotton yarn she bought me, it was Turkish cotton. So I agreed to make her some little scrubbies for her face. Um, and you get those to her too. Um, there are pictures of those on the, will be on the blog post as well. Um, some dish claws that will be like the last color I did be on the, uh, um, blog post. I also recently finished another, it wasn't really a custom order. My friend gave me yarn from a leftover craft project she had done and just asked me to make her something with it. I had the yarn for two years before I did anything with it, to be honest. And I gave it to her yesterday actually so she finally has that so I can't show that to you but there is a picture on, on the blog post I'm starting to see a theme here and a uh, recently finished project um, baby blanket because I actually finished that one this morning too and it's already uh, finished and ends are sewn in and in the inventory bucket so okay that is my knitting tag I guess I will call this the blog, I call the blog post my knitting self, I guess, knitting tag. Uh, if you are a knitter and you'd like to answer these questions, feel free to make your own video, and I hope to see more of these on YouTube. Have a nice day, everybody. Bye.